Hey guys, it's been so long. I want to say thank you so much for supporting me. Like, it's amazing. Like, I'm on 1,700. Well, a bit, like, in two now, I think. And, like, before I started this, when I, in August, I had, like, a set goal for 1,500 for the end of the year. So, to have 1,700 and it's not the end of the year yet, I'm really, really really like i can't explain how appreciative i am like so a lot of people it's like that's not a lot but it is like a lot it's a lot of people because my channel is not it's unconventional it's not like a, a beauty channel or a makeup or, or comic or gaming it's so all over the place and that's just how i am like I, I don't have any specific content so the fact that people are relating to those type of videos when i make them so randomly and people are subscribing and it's really amazing to me and i'm so thankful and grateful for all of you like seriously like oh, i'm sorry i haven't been as consistent i've just been working so hard and i've been really tired so that's the sacrifice guys um but i will be back properly with my proper set and everything in I think one of the most damaging things that being single can do to you is if you're single for a certain amount of time I feel like it gives you unrealistic expectations for every single person and I think I said this in the video as well that like it like um you start to accept little things because even if someone's just doing something better than the last and it's just something little that is not even a big deal you it suddenly just takes you to a whole new level and it just it make it, being single you can it can either be it can either make you colder or make you more accepting to things that you should not be accepting that should just be general practice so if someone's just consistently messaging it shouldn't make you like them more or any less it should be something that should just be fucking normal so if someone wasn't consistent last time and now they're consistent in your life now they're messaging a bit more it's like oh my god oh my god and you shouldn't feel that oh my god i mean you if you like someone it's nice but i mean it shouldn't be such a like a massive trait that you know, it should be normal because if someone messages you, you're going to message them back. If someone's calling you and you miss it, you're going to call them back. It's just normal practice. But through stuff like that, I used to get so excited. I'm like, you just want so much more consistent than last. It just feels so nice. And I used to make it such a big thing. And it's like, Jesus, it should be normal. So, um, I feel like I was watching an interview with Boris Kodjo and it was with Essence magazine and he said like they were, he basically was talking about why his relationship and his marriage has been so successful with Nicole Parker right if you guys don't know who Boris Kodjo is and you need to look him up he, he's, he used to have the biggest crush ever not anymore though it's like normal isn't it but yeah very handsome man and he was saying that basically a lot of things that people do when they're single is look for the idea of the person and fall in love with an idea of a person without falling in love with the, your actual reality of the person. And I was like, oh my, I instantly like understood because I used to do it. Like when people are showing you bad habits and you overlook those habits and you, you're still talking to this person blatantly being disrespected like the last video and like you fall for that person because of the idea of you seeing them being better and oh maybe this will change and this. Sometimes you need to really step away and actually look what's truly in front of you because sometimes the most of the time that's as good as it's going to get what's in front of you and you need to compare it to yourself because if someone is with me and they if someone is with me this is this is why i don't like the term let's see how it goes because I never understand how much you want to keep seeing because this is literally as good as it's going to get for me, I'm sorry. Like how I am now is how I am, how I'm going to be tomorrow, next week, the next month, next year. I can already guarantee that because I'm the same person. Like things can change, cars can be bought, cars can be lost, houses can, you can move into a bigger place, you can get a better job, you can lose your job. Things always change. Nothing in life is 
is absolutely certain but the one thing that can be certain the one thing that you can make certain is you always being true to yourself so when people say never say never I can say I will never change because I've always been the same junior that you've seen maybe I'm a bit more wiser and I've naturally grown duh I'm older but I, I'm still the same junior like people I still speak to people from secondary school and we still have the same stupid joke and we still love it, the same stupid things and I'm still that same person because it's just I'm still junior so like what do you need to see because things that you don't know you naturally you're never going to know everything about everyone in the in the instance but when you're in relationships like you never ever stop learning things about the person that you're with that's what I never understand when people take so long to make things official because what the fuck are you trying to see like I don't understand what you're trying to learn or what you're trying if you I don't understand what more you want to see from someone that because you're never going to be ever you're never ever going to know everything about everyone my best friend I've been best friends with Hawa for fucking god knows now and i I, she still learnt stuff yesterday that she never even knew. And, you know, it's always stuff like, you know me, I didn't know that. Like, I still, like, have friends, even older, like, me and my friend Pi, we've been friends for, we've been such good friends for well over a decade, since I was in secondary school. So long. And there's still stuff that she tells me that surprises me. I'm like, Pi! What? And there's still stuff like I can say, she can be like, Junior! Like, there's still things you will never ever fully understand or learn anything about anyone. So, don't ever, we're, I'm really passionate about this, you guys. I just think it's such a waste of time. When people are saying, let's go over the flow, like, I don't go over any sort of flow. Like, I want people, oh, you need to have someone that is demand, that wants, that knows that it's gonna be a good journey, that is telling you, you know what? I'm so excited to see where this goes. I can't wait to see where this goes. I can't. I can't wait to see how we develop and what happens with us. I can't wait to see this progress. Like you want to hear positive things like that. No, let's see how this goes. I feel like a lot of people just downplay that and use it because they're speaking to other people. Plain and simple. They're not taking you seriously, or the I or sorry or they're not. They're not, they don't see you in that way, but they don't want you in that way, but still they don't want to let you go because they like what you have and they like what they can get from you. Even if you're just giving them attention, you're not even fucking them or anything. They still like you being around that pretty beautiful face to talk to, that one person that they can vent to, but they still don't classify you as a friend and they don't classify you as anything more because they don't really want more because, you know, there's people, uh, yeah, I'm not really looking for that, you know what I mean? I'm not really looking to be in those in here. I'm not really looking for a long-term relationship thing right now. Like, blah, blah, blah. I've been hurt before and it's trust or everyone's always got the same shit like we've all been hurt you're not the only one that's been hurt you're not the only one that's guaranteed to only be hurt you're gonna get you're gonna get hurt in the future you're gonna get hurt tomorrow you can get hurt. every single day is a potential chance of getting hurt so stop acting like you're so you're so you know so heartbroken they can't love again but yet you're seeing me and you know that I want something more so please People aren't. People like to play tomfoolery and go into situations like they're blind and oblivious when they obviously know that most of these people that get themselves into situations with dickheads like that, we do want something more. Because I get those girls in my ins and my DMs. So I hate people like that. Like if you're not prepared to show someone just common respects and common qualities, then you know what? The most respectful thing you can do is leave someone the fuck alone. And then what is bad is because you're single and you end up liking this person knowing that they're possessing all these bad things but you're hoping that it's going to get better and it's true like it just won't. That is exactly how it's going to be. How they are, exactly how they are. And then you just need to think, as well, do you honestly want to be in a relationship with someone like that? Like, things that you ignore in the beginning and things that you overlook are the things that you shouldn't be overlooking. And a lot of people just overlook those things again, like I said in the last videos, because they, someone is a certain established to a certain extent, or they have things, or they're good looking, or they're giving you just that little more attention than the last person gave you. Like, these things should be standard to you. Like, should be standard. It shouldn't be anything, oh my gosh, like, uh, the bottom line is, is this going to be something or not? And the most important thing is, 
can you love that person in this reality for how you see them right now? Not the idea of things getting better, not because you see this potential, not falling in love with a potential. Can you fall in love with the reality of someone right now? This person that you're seeing, the person that you're talking to, can you, are you in love with their reality right now? Like, do you like them? Do you, do you know? If you can't look at someone and like who they, and like them for who they are right now, not thinking if they did this or if maybe if they did this or maybe no maybes or potential shit if you can't really look at someone and say that you can fall in love with that person for how they are in that in this moment in time then it's certainly someone that you shouldn't be with and i never did that if i would have questioned myself with that a long time ago i would have never got myself in stupid situations or even seen people because we we put so much hope in people when they don't even see fucking hope in themselves. So how am I giving being I'm tired of, you know stop being people's good Samaritan. Not everything is one one eight, one one eight, you know. Like sometimes people are just lost causes and that's how they're gonna be. Like if they're wrecks now, they're just gonna keep being wrecks. And then if they, they just don't you need to just break the cycle and know that like you want someone to accept you for how you are now flaws and all flaws and all people say yeah, i've got problems i've got stuff to work on everyone's got stuff to work on like it doesn't mean that you should you need to distance yourself from people to work on your stuff because sometimes the best medicine for working on yourself is someone else to help you realize the more beautiful you that you never knew that you could become that's the whole purpose of having a partner a lot of it to be honest to better you to compliment you but not compliment you in that way like take care and i promise i'll be back very soon even probably tomorrow with another video or maybe today still who knows <laughs> take care guys Mwah.